Back on the streets of Wexford Town here again today to raise the alarm about the crime of geoengineering. No, you were asking what you were what you saying. No, what I was suggesting is I do not believe personally that anybody is saying, okay, let's go change the climate. Yeah. That makes no sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what would anybody do that, right? If you can, so, if you, eighty percent of the world's economy is weather sensitive. If you, if you can control the weather, you control the world. Okay. But no one can control the weather. No one can. I don't think so. Well, it's been going I on mean, for we, well over one hundred and fifty years. Change, climate change, yeah. as we know, changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have glaciers, we yeah, have yeah. Sure ice period, we have this and the other thing. Yeah. And clearly, things have been changing yeah. Yeah. Rap more yeah. rapidly yeah. over the yeah. last year. Absolutely. Yeah. And it has to do with carbon issues. The only you constant know, thing... I understand that. The constant thing in this universe is change. Now, the global warming alarmists, first of all, they were saying for 20 years that the Earth was warming. Then they were caught manipulating the figures to suit their fraudulent, data, their, their fraudulent uh, global warming model. They were caught... That the figures basically were the, the, the earth was cooling, but they were caught saying that it was warming. Then they changed the term to climate change. Now, climate change, what's that supposed to mean? They're but saying, they're telling us, yeah, climate is always going to change. It's always been changed. No, like no, the, the, no, Viking, change, the Viking, in my mind, yeah. means manipulation. Yeah. It means that we, human beings, are responsible. But no, 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 but climate has always changed. I mean, uh, back in the, the Victorian times, they used to have markets on the River Thames because it was frozen over. I mean, the climate was very cold back then. The Vikings used to grow barley in Greenland in the 13th century. The no, climate has always no, no, changed. No, I understand. I understand. There's no... <laughs> Change yeah. is part of nature. Yeah, it, exactly. It, and it happens yes, exactly. whether you like it or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens is that we human beings are yeah. accelerating the issue. Yeah. I believe this, that. This, well, in America, it's very clear. I, I believe yeah. that for a lot yeah. of, uh, for a long time yeah. until I started. But, uh, but I'm not sure. I believe all I this. Be, I believe that for a long time that humans are causing the earth to climate change until I found out about this global warming, this uh, geoengineering issue. This, our climate has been engineered for 20 years. This is what's causing the climate to change. Mankind's activities on the planet are minuscule. One, one volcano and one eruption emits more carbon dioxide than 10 years of human activity combined. That's industrial and, okay. and just any, any a guy, but, every but, guy in the street. But I don't see the connection of what that you're inferring that planes are deliberately changing the climate. That, right. I, don't, mm. I don't know that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Where's the evidence of that? Yeah. Uh, it's, you get this it's data? everywhere. Yeah, we have, it. We have plenty of it. Really? No okay. Of it. Uh, gentlemen, I must confess, my wife is waiting for me and she's going to be really angry. So I'm going to go. All right. Uh, Gary, you've Come been on, called there. The Gary are moved just here now. So. Yes, here yeah. we are now faced with the yeah, Gary wanting to move us we on. We just had some little, yeah, some little busybody from Wexford speech. County Council uh, just called the cops. So here we go. There, just arrived. Just we won't be moving on. Okay, so this lady has heard about geoengineering before and what the planes are leaving behind up there? Uh, what I know about it is that they, they cause uh, sort of gaps in the atmosphere and uh, create sort of global warming. I yeah. don't know anything very deep about it, but I, I am aware. Yeah, of what well, basically, this program has been in place for 15 years, and the cover story is that it's to protect us from global warming. The idea is to create an artificial uh, cloud blanket around the, the Earth. Mm -hmm. To uh, reflect the sun back out to space. I wouldn't but entirely agree with that. No, well, I wouldn't it either. Certainly wouldn't be something. No, the air, but the no, but ne ne now they've changed the global warming, the term global warming, the climate change, and basically the United Nations has recently, or the World Meteorological Organization has recently come out and uh, put put out a report and listed out 42 countries that are engaged in full-time weather modification programs. This is an admission. 42 countries are manipulating the weather full-time. So this is what this is this is what's causing the climate to change, not us, the common man and woman on the streets. They, but the, the government, the system wants us to think that we're yeah, responsible we're for. A much bigger so, organisation. Yes, so that we can be taxed and controlled and all. Exactly. Cars yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. How's it going, Arthur? Right. Good man. Not Good man. Do you mind just? I'm on the camera here. Do you mind just? You know about geoengineering as I well, don't you? Yeah. 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 Yesterday, you could see him. Yeah. yeah. See him again. You can hang yeah. on there for a second. Yeah, but uh, uh, no. s an awful state, the sky today, folks. Just look at it. Yeah. I mean, since 6 o'clock this morning, you since sunrise. When you were young and you had a rich blue sky. Yeah. You look at the sky now and it's all pale. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing this for years. Yeah. 
Exactly. I mean, we just don't get blue skies anymore. If you do get it, like this morning, it's soon whited out with all these trails. Yeah. Now, even if people don't want to believe in this programme that it's going on, because it is crazy far out stuff, and I wouldn't blame people for not wanting to believe it, but okay. even if we don't believe in, that it's going on, I read about we, you. people I must actually. admit that we have a massive problem with yeah. the aviation pollution then. Even if people believe it's condensation, well, which the government tells us it is. If you see cars driving along the road leaving a trail of smoke behind them, yeah. then you worry. Yeah. You know? But you don't see that from the back. Exactly. Yeah. You don't see it from planes. And do you know that the aviation industry are not subject to any form of uh, um, um, emission regulations? But if you or I having a car with, with uh, emissions fail the NCT, we can get locked up for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But these get off scot free. They can do whatever they want up there. And they've written out patents for the last 100 years talking about modifying the weather yeah. and how they can see clouds and create artificial clouds out of chemical uh, induction, uh, chemical uh, in, in, uh, uh, introduction. Yeah. Crazy what stuff. You're doing is just trying to make people aware. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. Just raise awareness because that's the only way we're going to yeah. get it stopped. All right, Leo, do you mind going on camera? No. Good man. Listen, here's another guy. Listen, I'm going to give you a DVD in a second. Here's another guy. Leo was aware of this as well. Yeah, I think you're aware of it. Anyhow, I see yeah, yeah, you're kind of you're on Facebook yeah. a bit and um, do, like. Do you believe it's going on, Leo, or would you have any doubts that it's going on? I, well, tell you, I woke up this morning, right? What's this pollution, is it? One sec there now. I woke up this morning, and I can see the sky, like, when I wake up, I can see the sky out my window, and I see, I can see blue. Yeah. At the same time, there was fucking, there was so many trails going across the sky. Yeah, yeah. By the time I got out of the house, like, it was just great. Just spread, oh, everything, yeah, just, just what we see there now. Like, yeah. And none of that is natural cloud cover, folks. Not one thing up there, all, all artificial. Absolutely yeah. insane. Um, I've heard the argument, like, I, you know, I've heard, I've, like, talked about it with people before, yeah. I've heard, I've asked people, you know, like, if, like, it's a phenomenon for how, all how can the they, um, for a start, like, what do they think it is, you know, if the trails stay there for hours, like, what, what could it be? And some yeah. people say, you know, it's just natural conversation. Well, like, I phoned oh, all the government oh. agencies and all of them tell me it's just vapour, just vapour, just vapour. Yeah. Vapour vapor. vapor will disappear exactly. and become, it'll become exactly. all the invisible again. And it does. the water particles are us. Exactly. Drawn exactly. out because the air so thin that just spread out. Exactly. Invisibility. If yeah. it's vapor, why didn't we see these trails pre mid 1990s? Yeah. Plane always went over years ago when I was growing up. Tiny yeah. little trail. Do you mind going yeah, on camera? Tiny that little that trail yeah. and it dissipated in a couple of seconds. But now yeah. they stay up there all bloody day. Yeah. We've got a massive problem here, you know. And people need that's to really wait this for quick because we don't have time on our side. But that's yeah. been happening for quite a long time. Like yeah. 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 For, yeah. Since mid yeah. mid 1990s. Yeah. Started yeah. It's experimenting in the 20s, didn't it? Yes. But it wasn't such a big yeah. operation or one so visible. Do you know back in the to Napoleonic more, War? Airlines. The more airlines and the more air. Our, the airspace gets used more pollution and the more the more yeah. that you're going to see yeah. it's going to yeah. be an awful lot more in the, in the future yeah. in the near future no no but if we can stop this program we will not have trails yeah. because oh, absolutely. modern, yeah. modern, well, modern double bypass turbo prop engine planes do not leave any, any no, yeah. condensation yeah. trails whatsoever yeah. they're so efficient they're yeah. just uh, technologically advanced now and you know they don't even leave a 10 second trail yeah. so why do you yeah. think then, then the gov uh, governments around the world have not not even entertained they're the idea no because exactly. they're complicit in it they're I mean this this, gov this this program could not go on without the complicity of all the main agencies yeah. EPA, yeah. DOE yeah. and yeah. all of these yeah. government criminal yeah. organisations I phoned a whole lot of them. I put the conversation calls up on YouTube yeah. and they're all complicit you can tell they're all lying they're trying yeah. to tell me that they're only con, con trails and, 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 and they're trying to, to try to get me to call them chemtrails you see if, they get, if you call them chemtrails you sound like conspiracy things. <laughs> that's yeah. why I call yeah. it Geoengineering, because yeah, that's what they use. That's the term they use themselves. Like, another thing, Terry. If it's called geoengineering, yeah, that's the biosphere up there in the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're in the biosphere yeah. in the atmosphere. Yeah, geoengineering. Geo is in the ground. Exactly. So what they're putting exactly. out up there, this, is, this is geo the and it's bioengineering as well. Yeah. It's yeah. changing it's the whole us. Thing. It's yeah. changing our DNA. It's changing our yeah. cell structure. I was on a website a couple of weeks ago called the Wright Patterson Air Base. It's a scientific they have a scientific research lab on yeah, in, on this yeah. airbase. And there's patents in there on how to manipulate human bone structure and cell structure using laser technology, manipulating it up, uh, shooting them up into these uh, atmospheric plasmas that they're creating. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the materials that we see up there, all that white, white material, yeah. basically that turns the atmosphere into a giant plasma and it makes it really conductive. And also, the stuff they're spraying makes us conductive. So we're yeah. susceptible to all sorts of different mood changes Microwave and all from all of these all the mind control. Even you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. it's crazy stuff. But anyhow, I'm going to give you all a DVD each. Please watch it. And like you know, we could get it out there. Like, yeah, yeah. We'll give you a couple of flyers each, lads, because we all need to be talking about this, not just 
myself and James coming into the bullring here every couple yeah. of Saturdays. Yeah. We all need to be out in the street screen bloody murder. We should have yeah. face masks on today. It's not safe to go out. Yeah. Everything up there. Do you mind no, going on camera? Just do, 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 are, you, are you wondering what we're talking about here? Well, basically yeah. all of this stuff here. Look at all these trails from the planes. Yeah. All of these have been laid there all morning, okay, by by planes, obviously, okay. But they're blocking out the sun. There's nothing, nothing, yeah. um, nothing natural up there. No natural yeah. cloud formation whatsoever. Now, there's a program being in place for 15 years to modify the weather, and what this entails is uh, spraying sulfates into the atmosphere to facilitate yeah. the programs. Gates Bill Gates is one of the main funders of Monsanto. Yeah. He hasn't done it yet. He must. Probably. Do you yeah, mind going on camera? Even masks. Do you mind being on the camera? Well, as long as I'm not going to. Be okay, but I'm going to give you a DVD, right? But uh. Okay, no problem. Okay. All right. America's one of the biggest defenders of all that. Now yeah, it's yeah, not the yeah. military are doing it. Plus, did it, look, I can show you. Sorry, yeah. the airlines are putting it into our field. I can it's show you nice. patents here. Any, yeah, did, by the way, none of this is my opinion. You see, this is the whole thing yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, all, all their crops the are destroyed. And all are dying, okay. Yeah, and then they yeah. end up having to go to the American government looking for GMO seeds. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. Monsanto. Sorry, just, that, exactly. Monsanto you see, they create the problem. They contaminate the soil with aluminium. Then, then natural god seeds can't grow in it, and. Lo and behold, Monsanto come along with the solution. Well, hey, they've got an aluminium yeah. resistant seed, problem reaction solution. Yeah. The whole way their system works with the bank and the bankrupt the spider giant, thing, hold thing. us hostage with their fake money, well, take the problem and then offer the solution. Like, it's, huh? a lie. it's a lie. It's all yeah, a lie. lie. We're living in a world of deception and deceit, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, living, we're living under a fascist totalitarian one world to government. Totally. And I mean, they're actually working to bring this in. And yeah, yeah, Agenda 21. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Thing called Agenda 21. Totally. This is all made into Agenda 21. You know about Bilderbergs and Rothschilds. This is brilliant. Amazing. Are you from Wexford? Yes. Lovely. I've never seen you around. That's brilliant. Just it's so heartwarming to hear people mentioning Bilderberg and and Agenda 21. No, but the frustration part. What do you do, like? Exactly. You know, where we take to the streets and we let the government know that we know their dirty little secrets and we know the criminals that are controlling them and we know they're only a puppet government. The process of starting it, we started to ask them questions that never been asked before, not in my lifetime. Yeah, I know. Not in some other generations. Yeah, I know. Our ex-ministers are actually members of these groups. Sorry? They all get, how many they're all ministers? Lined up. Well, you have Noonan and all goes to the CFR meetings yeah, and the Bilderberg. Does he go to the yeah, CFR? Yeah, Sutherland. Yeah, he's got the Bilderberg. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 was a member. Yeah, yeah. Of the, of the Bilderbergs? Yeah. yeah. Or, was he, yeah? But you, yeah you, look at, you look at our ministers, especially around Paddock Day for, for, for a talk sec. They go around the globe. Uh, supposed to be promoting business and bring business back to Ireland, but what they're doing is going to all them different meetings in the EU, like at all the see, other different places them. around. Yeah. And the, that's the stuff they're not reporting in the general media. Yeah. Uh, uh, Be it the written media or yeah. uh, or, 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 yeah. or, or, or TV. Look or at, here's, a, here's a model they're working on. And the Kenny was out in Saudi Arabia and he praised our human rights track record. Yeah. Yeah. And if that's something to go by, yeah. yeah. God help us. So what no, does, no. What does he, what's his vision for this country? No, they, 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 they're they, going to charge us for water, and they're actually going to charge us for the water, not the service to provide the that's water. Right. Charge they're already paying for the charge water, for 2% levy on every tank. And they're charging us for poisoned water, yeah, fluoridated yeah, poison, water, but not only fluoridated, it's got radioactive isotopes in it, yeah, chemical right, waste, the whole bloody lot. Yeah, yeah, do you know about yeah. geoengineering? Do you mind going on camera? I don't like cameras at all. But do you mind being on camera? We're just doing a quick interview and it'd be great if you could contribute to it there as well. Do you know anything about what's going on in the skies today? Have you noticed the spraying going on up there? The what? Spray. Well, aerosol spraying. Basically, look at the, see that plane there leaving its big trail behind. Oh, Every yeah, plane... They always, they always do that. No, 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 but they never did before the mid-1990s, a little small trail. Con con but basically, all, all of this white stuff we see up in the sky here is created by planes this morning. Do you remember years ago in England there where, where all those people got drowned and the town got washed away? Bad Boss Castle. When they were... The, the army were experimenting. That was that was an engineered uh, crisis. Yeah, that was, yeah. 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 Because no, they, they were yeah. cloud seeding the day before. RAF planes uh, coming out of uh, Milden Hall Air Base, KC-37s, were swarming the area that night, OK? There yeah. was all sorts of harp, electromagnetic, Tesla technology frequency in the sky yeah, but the yeah. next morning lo and behold massive flood just yeah, like yeah, and yeah. you know back in the in the 50s and the 60s there was the li, 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 uh, the Linmus uh, test that's, trials that's right, right. Yeah. did you hear that's about them what I want about Linmus the, the, yeah. yeah well the BBC yeah. actually yeah. declassified yeah. in a, in a, in a, in a yeah. spotlight yeah. documentary yeah. back in the 90s that yeah. the, the government did actually carry it out they declassified that they actually did create that disaster yeah. 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 it's yeah. crazy right. but you see this the thing and people think oh our governments wouldn't do that hey they've done it before what the hell are they doing now it's far more high tech now if you want to tear up the air get Ban all the aircraft. 
No, no, if we want to clear up the air, we got to... Just stop on If we want to clear up the air, we got to eliminate these creatures that are causing this, man. Eliminate them. Get rid of all the governments. Yeah, Good stuff. Yes, right. Lovely. Back to sovereignty, man. Back to sovereignty, common law, Magna Carta, man, where the only law is do no harm, and that's it. Only one law. Something slightly different than that. We're living in... We've been living in an economy for quite a long, long time. Yeah. Our society is well gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's time that people start asking questions. Well, how can we get back to this society again? How, what have we got to do to, do, to get that happening again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and exactly. I watched it. There's not enough people asking that question. No, no, exactly. You know, direct democracy is one way to go. It's the only actual escape route out of this current no, situation yeah, that we're in. Direct democracy are actually funded by UKIP. So, yeah, we're not sure about what their true, true agenda well, might be. as far as I can see now, they're the only escape hatch we have now in the current political system. Is yeah, using we're, the structure uh, that we have. We're working with people before profit. Because, the, yeah. And we're, we're well, I wouldn't be on for them because the direct democracy, to me, are the only ones that can have any real uh, uh, hope of changing, uh, bringing us back power to the people because they will reinstate the Articles 42 and 43 or whatever into yeah, the Constitution. Yeah. The right the right to referendum, basically, was taken out sure. by yeah. King George and yeah. we've been living in a slave state since. They're accountable. Exactly. There, yeah. Look at, lovely job, great to talk to you, we could talk all day. Yeah. Look, get the word out with geoengineering, folks. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Right. Lovely. Thanks, Arthur. Thank you very much. Radio, you're going to give them out in your school? What school are you in? Presentation. Presentation, Wexford. There you go. There's about 100 flyers there. Lovely job. Wake up your friends with geoengineering. Talk about it in every classroom today. Ask your teachers. Do they know about it? If they don't, give them a flyer. Okay. And then they know about it. We will do that. Lovely. Yeah, as I was saying there earlier on in the video, uh, the, the, some guy from the council caught, came over to us and uh, he threatened, well, he told us to move on basically, he asked us that we have permission to set up here and all. I said, no, 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 uh, freedom of assembly and all that, you know, no need for permission. And uh, he says, well, look, at it. you'll have to move on. We didn't move on, so he called the cops. Cops came. James dealt with the, the guard. What, what happened, James? Uh, well, I have to say now, the guard is a really nice guy. He was, uh, he was, he was actually genuinely interested in what we were doing here. He, yeah. he, stand, he stood here and talked to me yeah. about geoengineering and like, his, his thoughts about it. Then he asked me, like, would we make a compromise with the county council uh, guy? The fact that uh, it's considered as uh, defacing a public monument. Yeah. And I went on to tell him like that, uh, guard, that we're only here in peace and we're, we're exercising our right to uh, freedom of assembly and freedom yeah. of free speech. Yeah. And that this uh, monument here symbolises for us our fight for freedom in Ireland and uh, only for the fight of these guys here that we wouldn't have the freedom that we know it as today exactly I told him my ancestors were involved just like many other people's ancestors were involved in fight for this so I said not a, this, oh, this is the best place for us to be and I said we're not, the face in the mon- we're not the face in the monument I said that's a matter of interpretation the fact is all exactly. this stuff will come down and that guy and he was like alright James you know what you put up a very good case and he said look at Take care of yourself and, and all Lovely the best. Lovely job. Lovely and job, I, man. I, I actually went to say, tell him, like, you know, I said, like, guard, you know, you know your position here is actually just to make sure that there's, that there's no actually uh, breach of the peace here. And, yeah. you know, he goes, yeah, he recognised that he was only here for breach of the peace exactly. and he actually can't do anything. Exactly. But, um, civil, civil yeah, offense. he was a really nice yeah. fella and fair play to him. Beautiful. Yeah. Cheers, James. Lovely job. Thank you. Okay, have you heard about geoengineering? I've just given you a DVD there. Why in the world are they spraying? Um, did, yeah. Have you heard about this before? Yeah, it's very good. Everyone should have one. No, but no, but uh, this program is uh, is obviously not good. But uh, have you heard about the program before to modify the weather? No, never. Okay, well, look at please uh, read that flyer and look look at that DVD. It's just so important. Uh, everything that we're seeing there now today was being put there deliberately by government agencies to modify the weather. Massive clandestine program we going on for 15 years. It's a complete media blackout um, in the mainstream village. That's why we're in the streets trying to alert the public. But uh, look, at, don't believe a word I say or whatever. Just look into it yourself, research it for yourselves, because we all need to find out how real this is. Thank you very much. Okay, don't mean to scare you, by the way, but it's better to know this. It's scarier not to know. We can stop it if we know about it and admit the problem exists, you know what I mean? Okay. Thanks, okay. girls. Okay, bye. Take care. Okay, this lady uh, was looking at the NASA cloud chart. Was it this you were looking at, caught your yes, eye? Yes. Basically, uh, when I went to school... I studied this in school. In okay, yeah. really? Okay, well, when I went to school, there was only nine clouds. That's all that ever existed. Now, yeah. NASA have brought this out, 34 cloud types on it. Yes. Okay, where have they all come from? Yeah, I only remember these ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all these are on, most of these are on natural creations, which are caused, created by this, this program. NASA are trying to normalize it. Yeah. They're brainwashing all the kids in schools now that these are normal clouds. 
they're even doing geoengineering courses in the Cork uh, City University. Yes, I talked to a girl in the streets of Waterford a while back. But uh, basically, they're trying to sell this to the public as a great thing. We'll spray the atmosphere, we'll create artificial cloud cover, and we're going to reflect the sun back out to space. That's going to save us from global warming. This is, yeah. this is the auspices it's sold under. And what's the truth? The truth is that they're manipulating the weather. Basically, if you control the weather, you control the world. 80% of the world's economy is weather sensitive. Literally, you're God if you control the weather. You control, you control food supply, you control seed production, and if you do all that, you control populations. Okay, there's a massive program called Agenda 21 to move people out of the countryside into yeah. the cities and all that as well. Them in cities. And, and they'll have th super highways going through, and yeah. railroads going through. Yeah, and they're going to they're they're use with military force. Yeah, grab people, stick them on the trains, yeah. send them off exactly. to work camps or whatever. Exactly. They and they're going to use man made weather disasters, yeah. so called. They call them natural disasters in Sky News and RTE, yeah. but yeah. they're man made weather disasters to force us into the countryside and that's what or into the cities. And that's why they're fracking the ground now as well, fracking, poisoning the water so that we won't be able to drink the water water anymore either. It's crazy stuff going on. Sorry, I'm overwhelming you now with too much uh, hardcore information. No, I've heard this before just, uh, from a couple of Sorry. people and I yeah. thought they were exaggerating. Yeah. Now it's getting yeah. bigger. No, it's real. It's real. It's very real. And, uh, you know, we wouldn't be on the streets here if this wasn't real, you know. This is very, very real. And look at, we're all doing our bit here. James is there talking to another girl there. We had the, we had the guards well, here a while ago, but they moved up. on. They were nice. Sorry? Keep it up. Thank you very much. I, I gave you a DVD, Why in the World Are the Spraying. Thank you. Okay, uh, tell everybody about it. And, you know, it's the next generation. Yeah. we got to be looking out for man. Whatever about ourselves. I say to people out there, if you want to ignore this, do it at your own, you can do it at your own, at your own peril. But I mean, at least, at least, you know, uh, do it for your children if you want to, for yourself to, uh, to, to look into this because it's very real and it is scary stuff and nobody wants to believe that such horrible things can be going on. You but do something about the GMOs as well. Oh, look at us yeah, all linked in. We're, 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 all, we're all fighting the same fight. There's, there's other people doing that and I'm kind of sticking to this for now. Here's people from the Irish Heart Foundation there now. They, they, we gave them, there's a crowd of them on the main street. We gave them a flyer each earlier on as well. Uh, an awful lot of these heart attacks now and all are caused by electromagnetic Alzheimer's, frequency. We've got Alzheimer's, frequency, uh, asthma, uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, diabetes, yeah. everything's on it. This country is one of the most unhealthy countries in Europe. Yeah, crazy. There's a fluoridate in the water, there's spraying us, they're mucking with our food. Uh, we've, ju uh, we've just overwhelmed over too much information. Yeah. Water's been poisoned. <laughs> Air's been poisoned. Ah, poison our food. Hey, but it's better to know all this because we can stop it then. Yeah. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. Keep it up. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Lovely job. All right, this dude here has heard about geoengineering, have you? I have. You're just looking at the stuff there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And uh, can you tell me just what, uh, what you know about it? Well, I met this guy in East Anglia in. Uh, England about six or seven years ago yeah. when I was working over there yeah. and he, he was a customer and, I, and he came in the shop and he said Tim Tim I've got this to show you this stuff is mad yeah the clouds look at the sky look at the chemtrails I said what's chemtrail these are chemtrails it's yeah the thing that comes off the back end of the plane yeah and there we go up there exactly and he said they don't disappear yeah they should yes and they don't vapor they, should disappear and they start connecting and then there's lots of them What's going on up there? That's and right. We started looking into it. Good man. American websites. Yeah. And it was just all sorts of stuff going on there. Foil being put out, deflecting um, supposed radiation. radiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy stuff going Crazy on, man. Stuff. Unbelievable. Yeah. We're living yeah. in the middle of a science fiction film. I know. And uh, but uh, you know, and they deny it. Totally deny it. Well, you know what? The United Nations, or the World Meteorological Organization, last year uh, put out a report and listed out 42 weather, 42 countries now around the world that are involved in full-time weather modification programs. Yeah. So they're no longer denying it. They're, they're, they've told us now that they're doing it. Oh, right. The International okay. Panel on Climate Change said that if solar radiation management programs were to cease, that the weather consequences globally would be catastrophic or could be catastrophic so it's all admissions you know that they're right, doing it they're right. doing it they're okay, doing it they're doing it but uh, for our good of course oh for our, oh yeah because they love us man <laughs> yeah 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 just like they set off the Hiroshima bomb and Nagasaki and all because they love us they love us all and they they poison our water because oh, yeah. they love us and they poison everything and they because they're just nice people oh yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 if you fall for that you'll fall for anything <laughs> exactly man beautiful yeah cool man beautiful thank you very much lovely uh, yeah lovely 
Oh, and you don't want that. Oh, no, 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 sorry, oh, you can oh, stick yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, no, this oh, yeah. man is campaigning here for his uh, political party that yeah, he's involved yeah. with. But, uh, no, you know about what's going on in the skies? Yeah, Have yeah, you noticed them? Yeah, well, I believe there's a, a thing called um, geoengineering, uh, which is basically they're changing the climate by spraying chemicals in the atmosphere. And they're using the excuse that they're using this to uh, reverse global warming. And I don't believe them, basically. I think they're lying to me. Good man. And, um, Beautiful. They want it stopped, basically. Because they don't right, they don't have our mandate to do this. Exactly. Our plan is not theirs. Exactly. And who the hell do they think they are? Sorry for the language. But, Beautiful. Well you know, said. Right. Thank you very no much. Problem. Good no man. Problem. You know this is going on, basically. Uh, you just This lady was passing, gave her a flyer there, and you said, oh, chemtrails. You've heard this before. Well aware of what's going on. It's a bloody disgrace. Okay. Have you? Do you tell your friends about this? I do, indeed. The ones that listen, anyhow, yeah. I tell them. And does your family know about this? They do. They're well aware of it. Children and all that. And Absolutely. all that. And uh, look at... Well, would you take a few flyers? I'll give you a couple, and you can disseminate them out yourselves. Sure, no problem. Today is a perfect day to give them out to people. You can uh, point it up to the sky to people, and all. I'll give you them now. One Thank second. You. Thank you very all much. Right. One sec. This lady here is just talking about. You never heard of uh, geoengineering as such, but you heard of um, modifying the weather for the Olympics and all you were saying the there. Olympics and special occasions. Yeah. I heard that they they are sending planes up to the sky to disperse the clouds. That's right. And uh, to make the weather better. That's right. For special Olympics. Exactly. Not special Olympics, but special occasions. Yes, the Beijing Olympics. So. The, the weather was modified for that. The Chinese government uh, declassified that. The Beijing Weather Modifi Com Modification Company is the biggest weather modification company on the planet. 10,000 employees and they, uh, they modified the weather to make sure it was good for the opening of the Olympics. Yeah, absolutely. And the average person, uh, you tell them that the weather has been modified and they just think you're mad. But this, this is all science. Yeah. They, they, they originally they found out... They clear the streets yeah. um, of all the, the homeless people and yeah. the closer and when, when there's a special occasion on the yeah. country to make the country look clean. But yeah. in fact, it, it, they're just hiding it all. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. Okay. Look, thank you very thank much. You very much. Lovely. Thank I'm going to give you a couple of flyers. Will you give them to your friends? And yeah, just yeah, okay. tell people about this, talk about it at dinner table right. and all we mean. We need to make this common knowledge so people are talking about it, you know, and reach, reach critical, aware, uh, critical mass awareness. That's the only way we're going to stop it. People are saying, what's the solution? What's the solution? This yeah. is the solution. Boots on the ground, on the streets, people that know what's going on, informing other people that's going on. Because if enough of us know, if we reach critical mass, this cannot no longer go on in secret. They're going to have to come out and admit that the programme is going on. I just showed you that uh, yeah. the list of 42 uh, companies that... Uh, uh, yeah, World Meteorological Organization said that there's all the countries engaged in weather modification activity. That's a kind of a semi kind of an admission that is going on. But they haven't come out in the news and said, by the way, we have been modifying your weather for 20 years. You know, but they're going to have to come out and do it soon right, because right. The, the effects of this are just so insanely in your face now. Yeah. Can't ignore this elephant in the living room too much longer. The, um, you were talking about um, pollution. Regular. Aircraft flying yeah, overhead yeah. and disrupting the. Well, that's what it is. They are regular aircraft. There's passengers right. on these, yeah. but uh, yeah. they're, they're retrofitted out. They've got spray jets built into the wingtips and uh, d different delivery systems. There's also right. there's a uh, there's also a lot of the engines have the a lot of the planes have the uh, the additives mixed in with the fuel and it comes out of the jet engine. But you'll see, you'll see the planes turning on and off the trails. I phoned the EPA, I phoned the Department of Environment, I phoned Met Air. And, uh, Jerry Fleming, by the way, admitted to me that weather modification is going on all around the world in different places for vineyards, stop hail falling and all that. But basically, uh, they, where was I going with that now? I was going to say something. Uh, yeah. Oh God, where was I going with that? Uh, don't worry, don't anyhow, it doesn't matter. Look at I'm getting, getting lost in this ever. But anyhow, <laughs> look at too much information. It's probably too much anyhow. Yeah. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The, the, the agencies will tell you that it's only vapor. But as I was saying, you'll see planes coming into Irish airspace and then turning on a big trail all of a sudden. Then you'll see it turning off, and they'll say oh, it's only vapor. No, I never noticed that. And now that you're no, now that you're aware of it, you, you will you will always notice it from now on. So just keep looking up and pointing up, and we can stop this. Then we can get our weather back. Remember the way the weather changed in Ireland, like in mid nineties, and remember yeah. the way the summers used to be lovely years yeah, ago growing up were, yeah. oh, uh, all of a sudden bad weather all of a sudden and yeah. they tell us it's global warming this is the cause of it this is why our weather went bad 20 years ago oh. and we can get our weather back look at let you off thank you very much okay our weather has been modified for 20 years, okay? What they're doing is they're spraying these toxins into the environment to create an artificial cloud blanket and around the planet. Yanks. Do you mind this is camera this pointing here? No, no, you don't, you know, okay, no problem. I'm, no, I'm recording it, yeah, that's right. But yeah, it is the Yanks, yeah, it's the Yanks. Yeah, and uh, British, the British government as well. 
I, 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 could show, I could show you white papers there written out by the House of Commons on regulating this insane yeah. practice. This, this is the what fifth report on the regulation of geoengineering. We went to 10 Downing Street Monday before last, myself and 300 other ca- activists. And we, 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 presented, we presented a petition and a directive to ban geoengineering into David Cameron. And, uh, well, that's hopeless, because so, they won't do anything over there. I live there all my life. I know, I know. They never do and anything, but they're going to have to do something now because people aren't going to leave them alone. I came over to Ireland to get a beautiful country because yeah. my grandfather came yeah. to Ireland. Okay. And I was thinking, oh, lovely, to get back to the green yeah. and all the freshest. Yeah. Now it's getting just like... There's England. nothing fresh, There's fresh about here. There's nothing clean about Ireland. No, we no, should, no. We're out in the rugged western edges of the Atlantic Ocean. It should be flush, and it should be fresh, yeah, it should be gorgeous. Should be. Should but be. instead we're a toxic, yeah. polluted, radiated, well, slave state of the European Union. And that all we're poisoned through the water, the food, the thick sky. The wildlife is dying. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Sorry, and I yeah. think my grandson now was in Tokyo and he got a job to breathe. I got sent him a thing and masks and things put over his face. And I think, this is going to get like Tokyo. Unbelievable. We'll, we'll all be walking around with little masks. Well, as I, as I said to you there, I have a bag of masks, uh, a packet of masks in my yeah. bag there, but I didn't want to put them on because it would just probably no, frighten know, people off, you know? Children, yeah. But anyhow. But, but look anyway, at but your DVD and... Uh, did I give you a DVD? No, I'll give you a DVD to watch that and I'll give you a couple of flyers as well. Oh. Tell your friends. Thank you very much. Yeah, Lovely. Thank- This is one of the election posters up around County Wexford now, and the whole of Ireland actually. Notice in the background there, what have we got? We've got little white lines there, that's a blue sky. We've got white lines. Normalising the chemtrails. Unbelievable. Yeah. You, yeah. you moved over here and yeah. you were saying about the, the bu- beautiful blue, blue skies. skies. Yeah, yeah, go on. And, and what else were you yeah, saying there? My husband and I moved over from the UK. Yeah. And we was, I always say it's beautiful in the morning. Yeah. The skies look lovely. And then by lunchtime, yeah. the clouds are really bad. So I was just wondering yeah. what was causing that. Exactly. Well, yeah. it's all man made. Okay, now the governments and the, the whole establishment will tell us it's man made global warming. Yeah. And it's climate change. Yes, it is man made, but it's not the common man on the street that's doing it. Yeah. There's massive corporations and military industrial complex, they're all involved involved in this. Monsanto are one of the main funders. They are a seed production company. Right. They're contaminating the soil. Yeah. The soil can no longer uh, uh, support normal natural seeds and Monsanto mm-hmm. have the solution in the form of an aluminium resistant seed. Oh, right. Yeah, so they create the problem and then they yeah, have the solution. Yeah, it's so it's big business. But uh, look at, it's, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. It's, it's crazy stuff. We all need to know what's going on. Yeah. This should be a lovely blue sky day today. It's high yeah. pressure. It's 1,033 millibars yeah. today. Should be a beautiful, pristine blue sky, but we're not getting that anymore okay. because we're being sprayed out of it every day. Okay. And the only reason they're getting away with this is because the general public are not aware Where it's going it? on. Yeah. That's why we're in the streets informing people. So I'm going to give you a stack okay. of flyers. Please tell people about okay, it. Okay, I will do, yeah. Thank you very much. Hopefully. Lovely Thank job. Thank you. Thank you. Just been explaining to these guys about weather modification and the history of it, and I've shown them the... Uh, um, the report from the uh, World Meteorological Organization talking about how 42 countries now are active in weather modification programs. Do you think this is, sounds crazy stuff, girls? Yeah. You were asking me, like, how do I know this is going on now? Well, apart from all the documentational evidence I have here, we've got visual evidence of the crimes occurring right above our heads right now. You know, in a court of law, you can't get any more better evidence than video evidence, and we got it right here on bloody video. You know, so. Sure but look, cloud. that's not cloud. Look at, but I'm not here to convince you that that's cloud, uh, that that's not natural, or it is natural. I'm here to tell you, just look up, look up for yourself and notice the skies from now on. Okay. Just notice in the morning. It's, it's probably going to be another clear day in the morning. It'll start off a clear day, but as the day goes on, you'll see the trails being laid. Maybe they mightn't be spraying that much tomorrow, but the chances are they probably will. But just look out for it anyhow, and you'll see big lines in the sky and lines and lines, and it'll eventually just fan out. I have time-lapse videos of from 6 in the morning until 10 o'clock, speed it up to, like, you know, uh, 4 hours, speed it up to 4 minutes, and you'll see the planes going by. But Some of them are leaving no trails, others are leaving big, thick trails. Other planes are turning on trails of specific points that are turning off and all this versus everywhere like there's patterns on them and you just keep on watching them and you see it like and you, you can't deny it like you get up really early in the morning like and you see them like you don't even know where the planes are going yeah i don't yeah. even know what airport holds that yeah. planes yeah you just keep on going like and you see your blue sky just fade and fade and fade into oh, this man. haste this is how like this is how big it is like look how big like that's the all whole great. sky that's blocked out from the chemtrails like. geoengineering is sufficient name isn't it oh man yeah that's what it is yeah. people call it chemtrails if you put into YouTube 
yeah. you see videos, you get to see people, they show all the videos, and then you get to see it. Like, yeah. This stuff is so serious. This is your children's futures. It, that's it, that's, man. That's what it is. It's absolutely appalling. It's, it's unbelievable. And it could go on. No, no, I never met him. Sorry, what's no. uh, Terry? Oh, is my name. Carl is my name. Nice like. to meet you, Carl. I just came down here. I actually said this. Carl O'Toole, is it? Uh, I actually said this with Gary. I'm friends with you on Facebook. Yeah, I'm not on Facebook no more because I tried to promote all this, but people just don't listen. I tried to say Gary down there, and the Gary just. Oh uh, yeah, sure. As long as he posts some good weather in there, like that's fair enough. Like, yeah. just you know, you'd be so lost trying to tell me. Totally, this totally. Is so serious, like, totally. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is the greatest issue uh, that, that humanity and life on this earth has ever been faced with. This is bigger than any nuclear fallout. This is bigger than this is. It's, but it's a part I mean, of the new world order. Sh short of a bloody Agenda. comet hitting the planet, I mean, there's nothing, nothing more, no more greater threat to the future of life on this earth. Right. Yeah, we were living in the biggest species extinction rate. Uh, the biggest uh, species extinction period since the dinosaurs died out 70 million years ago. 200 uh, species of plants, animals, insects and birds are dying out every 24 hours. Yeah, every there is, 24 hours. Like, yeah. Now you won't hear this in the mainstream media. Yeah. Big and massive you know, media and blackout. You know, also like in uh, children's films, they yeah. actually like, they're, this is, they're trying to showcase that this is normal That's now. right. When kids are watching this now, they That's see right. the chemtrails. Like, yeah. uh, over the hedge, I think it is. I don't yeah. want to say that. Like, but if you actually see it, like they always have camera angles pointing up. Yeah. And there's chemtrails going along. And they're making chemtrails. They're actually putting stuff out. They're putting, yeah. yeah. They're spraying. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know? I remember, like when I was younger, when I was growing up and all, they were only small. Like I'm always staring up at the sky yeah. the whole yeah. time. Like okay. I love the clouds and I love the blue sky and everything. Yeah. Like, but now somebody just said to me there a few years ago, and I just looked up. No one really looks up. Like, no one looks up And when I looked anymore. up, I was just gobsmacked. Yeah. And then I just kept on watching, and I kept on watching, and you just see the sky disappearing. Like, you and just, you realise it's real. You can't, and I mean, you can't deny it. You can't deny what your eyes see. And then you I can show you. I can show you. Do you want to just show? I'll show you a patent here. Look at this. Just look at this. Ow. Look at this patent here. Uh, right. Right, this patent is uh, entitled, it's a United States patent, it's entitled Process of Producing Smoke Clouds from Moving Aircraft. Now that's 1927. They've been, this has been in development for a long, long time, sure, almost a hundred years. They bombed the clouds in Chernobyl to make it rain, like, so it wouldn't go over Exactly, countries, that's right, man. So uh, be, this, this, this technology is there. Like, we, we, weather warfare, they call it. They've been, it's, it's more powerful than nuclear energy. In nuclear war, it's more powerful than any boots on the ground, like physical army. Yeah. You can, you, if you can swamp out your enemy with adverse weather, he's, they're goosed. Weather, weather and war have been our totally... Our farmers are getting an awful hardship, but yeah. a lot of our farmers are committing suicide and everything, like, and they're wondering why, like, yeah. because yeah. the crops are failing, and the crops yeah. are failing because of this, like, do you yeah. know what I mean? This is yeah. very serious. This exactly. is our food. This is this what's going food. on. Everything. This is our food, like, and then we have to buy it in from other countries that yeah. are probably getting really good weather, and yeah. it's all planned. So we're, like, relying on other countries, like, yeah. Yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, war taxes, house taxes, yeah. it's all a part of it. It's all part of the New World Order agenda, like, to exactly. control everything, like, and people really need to... People need to understand what's going on, because our government has hijacked a long time ago. Um, Our government is, I mean, we, we, yeah. we don't have a government anymore that's looking after the interests of the people of Ireland. Where's the money? Yeah. Where's all this money? You know, gone? Who walks around with a million euro in the back pocket? Where is yeah. this money gone? Yeah. Where's it gone? It's all yeah. on a screen. Like you yeah. get the money out of the bank, you go back in, you pay yeah. it into the shop, they put it back into the bank. Yeah. It's, where's the money gone? Yeah. In the world, the yeah. money's gone. Just nah, something wrong there. Like just that on, on its own. Like. But it should not dictate the quality of life, yeah. but it does. Yeah. So Carl, you should be seriously wrong there. Carl, you should be making videos into the streets with us more often when you mm. give us a hand here, man. Because we need, so many more of us need the streets doing this because, you Just know. Just have a look, though, and yeah, say yeah. to people, and yeah. don't be afraid to say to people. Yeah. yeah. But don't look, at, look at the DVD. You'll, you'll, you'll yeah. have to understand that it's real, obviously, before yeah. you start telling people about yes. this. But it, you know, look into it yourself. Don't believe a word I say. Just look into it yourself, yeah. and that's it. Take you know? a while, because yeah. at first, though, you'd say to somebody, and somebody say, "Ah, oh, go away." But yeah. you take that to heart, yeah. then. Like, yeah. but after a while, you just keep on seeing. Yeah. You're just like, you know what? Just screw yeah. you. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah. 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 And then that's right. when you kind of go off. Lovely and job. Thing, All right. So, cheers, Carol. And thank you, folks. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Take care now. Right.
Show the high, and that's what they live.